Thank you so much. Um, so welcome everybody to, to the presentation of FAU, um, which is Friedrich Alexander Universität Erlangen Nürnberg for um, yeah, in the long version, in the full version. And um, we are very happy to greet you here today. My name is Polina Potichewa. I'm here from the International Office of the FAU. And with me here today is Patrick Stör from the Faculty of Sciences, Claudia Barnickel from the Faculty of Engineering, and Ms. Eva Bleisteiner from the School of Business, Economics and Society. And we will give you a short overview over FAU and the study programs that we offer and the benefits that we have. So we hope um, that if you have any questions um, during the presentation, you can just type them down in the chat and then we will get um, to them later on. And right now I'm going to share a YouTube video with you just um, to give you a taste, so to speak, of um, FAU and of Germany. Our Friedrich Alexander University was founded in 1743. Nowadays, we are one of the most innovative universities worldwide. We have a clear vision of values that we live yeah, by every day. I'm not sure if the other Can you hear the sound? Can you give me a real quick feedback in the chat if you can hear the sound? Just a quick yes or no? No? Okay, that is interesting. Okay, because uh, why? I specifically asked about this earlier. Maybe if I keep my microphone on, will you hear it then? Innovation happens where diversity meets... Let me, let me just maybe start from the beginning then, I'm sorry. Our Friedrich Alexander University was founded in 1743. Nowadays, we are one of the most innovative universities worldwide. We have a clear vision of values that we live by every day. Innovation happens where diversity meets Passion. Polina, we can hear something, but the sound is not good. There is a screechy sound, but we cannot hear anything. Okay, that is weird. Okay, then I don't know. Um, then you can just um see the title of the video, and you could maybe just watch it later. Um, just so we don't have any screeching noises in the background. Maybe that will be best. Um, so I hope that will um. Uh, so I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, for the sound, uh, each of the participant and you too can control the voice, uh, the sound uh, from the player. So it uh, depends on it. So you can see if you uh, click on the video, you can see this sound uh, setting. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how um low or high high volume is in every participant's uh, settings so it's all right with the video if you okay. nervous I mean, about I can, that i can try it again maybe a few seconds and if it doesn't work it doesn't work that's okay oh. at the cutting edge of research and education our fau community is a place for diverse and passionate people who are Researching together, learning together, and working together to shape our future. generate knowledge, we combine knowledge, we teach knowledge, 
We are moving knowledge. Okay, so I hope that this worked out for everybody um, at some point. Um, and you could get us um, like a nice little overview of FAU. Um, you already heard a university motto in the, um, in the presentation, in the video. Um, it was moving knowledge. Um, and this is kind of what helps us to um, get better every single day. We have been around for over 200 years, as you can see um, on the slide. And we have become one of the largest universities um, in Europe, one of the largest research universities today. And we really try to be a pioneer sorry, in innovative research, in uh, teaching, in combining knowledge with practical work. So if you're interested in that, then you should definitely come to FAU and see what we have to offer. So on this next slide, you can see that we are located right in the center of Europe, as we like to call it. Um, we are this little heart on the presentation, and we are really close to all kinds of other countries. You can see we're, you know, pretty much almost in Switzerland, Austria, in the Czech Republic. Um, it's really um, like close to go to the UK. It's just like a really short flight. You can go to Paris by train. And okay, people are saying that you're seeing the video. Okay, how can I stop you from seeing the video? Because I should have like technically should be seeing the presentation now. Are you seeing the presentation or the video still? Can you give me a quick reply in the chat? Okay, yes means presentation, I hope. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping Okay, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so then I will continue. Um, so regarding the presentation, uh, once again, we are in the heart of Europe. You can see we are right at the center and it's really easy to travel here for work, for internships, um, just on your private time. So that is a really great place to be if you're interested in coming to FAU. On this next slide, you can see that um, the reason we are called Erlangen Nürnberg is because we actually have five faculties in two different cities or more actually, depending on, on what you count. Um, we do have five faculties and a large university hospital. We have over 39,000 students um, studying here. And um, you can see that we just offer a whole wide variety of degree programs. We try to offer more and more of them in English every single year. You will hear more about that later on from my colleagues. And you can see we do have over 3,000 academic staff members, over 600 professorships. So um, FAU is really a good starting point for your academic um, career. Um, now, just a little bit more of an overview to what is going on with the Erlangen in Nürnberg. Um, selection. So in Erlangen, we have most of our faculties or all of our faculties to some degree actually represented. Um, in Erlangen, we have the Faculty of Humanities, Social Sciences and Theology. They offer a lot of like language courses, for example, like language studies, book studies, um, also all kinds of programs that um, don't really fall into any other of the faculties, like, I don't know, sports programs, for example, or human rights um, fall under this faculty. Then there is also the Faculty of Sciences, um, which you will hear about more in detail in just oh, on the next slide. Um, then there's the Faculty of Engineering that obviously, like the name suggests, um, um, offers a lot of engineering programs, more like the technology sector. And then we have um, the Faculty of Law, Business and Economy, which is split into two parts. This is where the fun stuff begins, um, with the law section being um, taking place in Erlangen and the School of Business, Economics and Society being located in Nuremberg. And you can also see um, the before mentioned um, Faculty of Medicine and the large university hospital that we have at FAU. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can definitely also go study um, something here. However, going from the Ukrainian school degree to medicine is a little bit tricky, but we can hear a little bit more about it later on. And now I would just like to give the word over to Patrick Stör, who will give you a few pointers toward the um, Faculty of Sciences and the different study programs that we um, that they offer, both in like German and in English. Ah, uh, you you're still muted, Patrick. You're still muted.
you're still muted, you need to like click on this little icon. If you can. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Maybe, maybe if you like leave and come back. Maybe if you leave and come back, but there's like a little red icon, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see if it works. Um, I think we will just move on to the Faculty of Engineering for now and then see if, if Patrick will be able to, to unmute himself later on. <laughs> um, yeah, so for the Faculty of Engineering, um, we do have um, these programs and Ms. Claudia Barnicle will tell you more about them. Perfect. Thank you, Paulina. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, I'm, I'm the representative of our Faculty of Engineering today. And I will give you a, a quick overview of all the programs that we offer on bachelor's and on master's level in German language as well as in English language. Our faculty of engineering is quite big. Um, currently, there are about 10,000 students enrolled here. So you can think of the faculty as of its own technical university, really. It offers all the benefits of a technical university with the plus that it's also integrated in the larger structure, which is FAU. So I think if you're interested in technology, this is a great place uh, to study. So on this slide that you can see, um, we, you can see all the programs that are taught in German language. In order to enroll in these programs, you would uh, need very advanced German proficiency, usually C1 level. And you can see our bachelor's programs here in chemical and biological engineering and life science engineering. They have this orange background because we use this color coding system to indicate which department is offering um, a determined study program. So the orange background means chemical and biological engineering. Then moving on to the programs with a blue background, those are offered by our department for computer science. And here we offer computational engineering, which is basically a mix of computer science and engineering subjects. So the aim is to learn how to simulate experiments so that they don't have to be carried out at a lab anymore in a laboratory setting, but um, you can just simulate them on a computer. Then our bachelor's and master's program in computer science, uh, both are offered in German language. And we also offer a special degree program for professionals, which takes place mainly online, which is the bachelor's of science in IT security. Then um, I'm in charge of our program in medical engineering. I am the study advisor and coordinator for this program. And as you can see on the slide, on bachelor's level, medical engineering, oh, can you move back? Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't done yet, thank you. Um, on bachelor's level, the medical engineering program is taught in German language. Then the next two programs with a yellowish background are our bachelor's and master's in electrical engineering and energy technology. Um, we offer a very broad spectrum in uh, electrical engineering at FAU. You will find different applications from um, audio applications, visual applications, signal processing, and energy technology is also one of the key uh, research areas here. Um, as you all know, energy production and storage is, is a very important topic nowadays and also for the future. Then our bachelor's program in information and communication technology is uh, basically focused on um, a signal processing um, and maybe you know that the mp3 format uh, was um, invented here in Erlangen so it's also about storing um, musical data for example audio data. Then the programs with a green background and the newest one of them is our bachelor's program in electromobility with the acronym ACES. So here you will learn how to develop um, mobility solutions for the future that don't uh, depend on, on gas anymore. Then the bachelor's and master's program in industrial engineering and management is a mix of yeah, mechanical engineering, industrial energy engineering and um, economic, economics subjects. The bachelor's and master's in international production engineering and management goes into a similar direction um, and you also get a glimpse into the international market. 
the program with the red, red background is offered by our department for material science and they offer a bachelor's program in nanotechnology and also in material science. So if you're interested in working with innovative materials, improving those materials on a nano scale, so on a very small scale, those are the programs to go for. And I'm finishing this slide with a bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering and mechatronics. Those are the more traditional engineering programs that I'm sure everybody has an idea of. Uh, mechatronics is basically at the interface between mechanical and electrical engineering. Now, moving on to the next slide with all of our programs that we offer in English language. Those are our Masters in Artificial in Intelligence, which is one of the hottest topics right now in the field of computer science. Then we have a few programs offered by our department for chemical and biological engineering again. On master's level, they offer advanced optical technologies. This has to do with uh, laser technology, laser research. We also have the Bavarian Laser Center located here in the city of Erlangen. So a lot of um, interesting research projects are awaiting you there. The master's in chemical and biological engineering is taught partly in English and partly in German. So you would need um, intermediate German skills at least in order to enroll in that program. Another new program is the Bachelor's and Master's in Clean Energy Processes, where you will learn how to produce clean energy for the future. Then um, the Master's program in Computational Engineering, I already mentioned um, what a computational engineering is. It is basically uh, bridging the gap between computer science and engineering in order to make a simulation of processes and experiments easier by moving them to the virtual sphere. And uh, now for my program, Medical Engineering, we offer a master's program um, in which three of five specializations are taught completely in English. So if you would like to uh, work on medical image processing, medical robotics, or a combination of medical imaging and economics, you're welcome to apply to those programs. Um, and we offer two specializations in German. Those are medical electronics and medical device engineering and prosthetics. Then moving on to the uh, program, stop, 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 Polina, you're too fast for me. <laughs> moving on with the programs with a yellow background. Um, there you can find one of our newer programs, the Bachelor's and Master's in Autonomy Technology. This is a super interesting program as well if you are generally interested in robotics with different applications for industry, for medicine, for different fields, um, then you're most welcome to apply to those programs on Bachelor's and Master's level. Our Master's in Advanced Signal Processing and Communication Engineering is a well-established program here, again, because we have a lot of research in this field here at FAU. Communications and Multimedia Engineering is focused your, uh, towards audio and visual engineering, and um, the Master's in Information Communication Technology um, focuses on signal processing. The Master's in Advanced Materials and Processing Processes is a mix of material science and um, bio and chemical engineering. And uh, the newest ones from that department are the Master's in Material Science, Engineering and Nanotechnology. And um, again, last mention of uh, the Electromobility Program, you cannot only study it on bachelor's level, but also on master's level. And if you choose to study it on master's level, you only need English skills. So this is the quick overview, and now we can move on to the next slide. If you want to, you can also control your slides yourself. That's easier. I'm sorry, I'm oh, too fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't find no, the no, button no, it's there. Okay, it's okay. okay, I will try for next time. But you are a great assistant, Polina. <laughs> so um, I think I already said uh, a lot about uh, clean energy processes, but my colleague who managed this this program, she asked me to include this slide in the presentation just to draw your attention to the program because it is quite new and it's also such a hot topic. So if you're interested in, in developing new solutions for energy production and storage, feel free to go directly to the website of the program. I think it's worth mentioning that all of our programs, they have their own website. So whenever you're interested in a certain subject, you can always Google it by just typing FAU plus the program name into the search engine, and then you will find the website of this specific program. And I think it's also useful for you to know that every program has a program coordinator or study advisor who is in charge of this specific program. 
So whenever you have very detailed questions about any of our programs, you can get in touch with those people and they will be happy to help you. And as you can see on this slide, my colleague has already left her contact information here. So it's study minus CEP at FAUDE. If you have any questions regarding this program that you cannot answer yourself by looking at the website, you can just contact her. So now I'll try to move the slide. Yes, it works. So um, just a quick um, overview of our newest programs here. I already mentioned autonomy technologies. They also have a very cool um, video on YouTube. If you want to check it out, you really get a good impression of what the program is about. And also on the photo on the slide, you can also see that the robot dog, they have this robotic dog that they work with. So it's a really um, interesting field to do research in and, and study in. Um, in this case, both um, bachelor's and master's studies are fully taught in English. And again, at the very bottom of the slide, you have the contact information of the study advisor for this program. And so if you have any questions, just send an email to study minus at FEUDE. Um, clean energy processes, I already talked about that one. Um, ah, okay, I think the title is wrong here. Uh, this is the slide about our medical engineering program. Um, just ignore the title. Um, so medical engineering is one of our key research um, foci here at FAU because um, we have one of the most important global players uh, regarding medical engineering here in Erlangen, which is Siemens, Siemens Health Engineers. And of course, the university does a lot of uh, collaborative research with industry partners such as Siemens. So if you're interested in, in studying at the forefront of medical engineering, Erlangen is actually the place to be in Germany. We are also situated in the um, German medical valley. So everything that happens in the field of medical engineering happens in Erlangen. You can see our five areas of specialization here on the slide. I've already mentioned them. And if you're interested in this uh, very um, interesting and, and fast paced uh, field, then just keep in mind that the bachelor's program is taught in German. So you would need advanced German skills for that. And the master's program can be studied 100% in English, depending on the specialization that you choose. And you also have my contact at the bottom. So if you want to reach out to me, feel free to send me an email to the, to the email address that you can find below. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about the slides. Um, yes, yeah, so we will continue to um, hear more about the faculty uh, of uh, business economics and society and the School of Business Econo Economics and Society specifically um, from Eva Breistein. Thank you very much, Paulina. I will keep this a little bit short because maybe you hear it. I actually do have a cold and I'm not feeling very well today, but it does work. Uh, don't worry. Um, yes, of course, I will tell you a little bit about our school. Um, as Paulina mentioned in the beginning, uh, we are the part of the university, which is based in Nuremberg, which is also, um, as well as Erlangen, a very nice city. And we also do have uh, many programs in um, bachelor's and in master's level which are both uh, taught fully in English. I will start with the bachelor programs. Um, this is, um, for example, the international business studies and our international economic studies. Um, both are uh, in Nuremberg, as I mentioned before, and the international business studies is more about business management. And you do have classes um, which are smaller. We do have around, um, I think, um, 70 to 100 students studying in this program. And in the international economic studies, we do have around um, 50 to 40 to 50 students. And international economic studies is more about economics, um, but this is um, very important as well as we hear a moment about our uh, political situation. And we do have a lot of other um, programs, but they are in German. Um, would you please switch to the next slide? Um, because these are our master programs and um, we do have one in international business studies and um, this is um, the program which follows the um, bachelor international uh, business studies and this is um, for students who want to work in management roles and we do have a lot of international companies um, working in our metropolitan region and um, the master international information system it's more um, it's a program which is with the faculty of engineering um, it's a cooperation program um, so you do have um, information technology and um, fields of managing, of course, and information systems, database systems and software engineering. 
And last but not least, we do have also a master's in economics. And this is, um, if you have studied the um, bachelor in economic studies, um, it's um, a possibility to study the master as well. And we do have um, some specializations, for example, labor markets, macroeconomics and finance and public economics, energy markets and health economics. And all of these master programs um, can be studied at our school and they are also fully taught in English. And if you do have any questions concerning this, you can write me an email and I can give you the contact information about the coordinators of the programs and they can help you with any questions regarding um, getting into the program and which, um, what, which, um, what do you have to bring along and, and just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And this is all from our school. And so I will hand back to Polina, our, who's talking next. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think we can try maybe um, to see if Patrick's microphone is working again or not. I don't know. Um, we'll see if it works. Um, but already on the slide, you can see um, the different um, study programs that we offer. Um, unfortunately, oh. I made several mistakes on the Polina, slide. Polina, can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, um, then I'll just works. hand over to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry for the technical difficulties earlier. Um, I'm working for the Faculty of Sciences, and I'll I'll also try to keep it short. Um, I mean, basically, what I want to tell you is, um, if we talk about sciences, um, you all know the subjects from school. Yeah, it's physics, chemistry, mathematics. Um, biology, geosciences, these kind of subjects. And um, like if you have a look into the world, most of our current problems with pollution, with uh, climate change, with uh, let's say food security issues, a lot of them are related um, or are challenges that are heavily related to, to research and sciences. And that is why like studying a science degree is really a great preparation if you're interested in in well uh, addressing or in tackling all these future challenges and it means it'll on the one hand side give you yeah quite a good basis for a for a career for um like a, a prosperous job for earning good money but also like gives you the possibility to contribute a little bit to the solution of the problems mankind is facing at the moment so i think like considering studying a science subject is usually um yeah a very very benefiting thing and gives you kind of like a a chance for a meaningful career um then of course this stays the question um why you should study sciences at fau and um i'd say here, um, we really try to make you, we truly really try to combine theory and practice, yeah? It's research um, that shapes our spirit in teaching and in designing our degree programs. And of course, here at FAU, you will learn all the theory, you will learn all the basics. Um, but we really also want you to become independent researchers, yeah? We want you to be able to start a career at the company and to have more than just theoretical knowledge or um, i mean either in industry or in academia we want you to be like um independent experts in your field and um so from very early on especially like um in the bachelor you will of course have your your lab practicals and in the master you will really participate in working groups in cutting edge research and cutting edge research um like with other students from Germany, with international students, with, with doctoral candidates, with people who, are, who already have a PhD. And um, this is something that might sound a little bit challenging, but um, yeah, which you will definitely get um, prepared for. And um, let's just uh, switch to our slides that we offer uh, to the master programs we offer in English. Um, well, where shall we start? Well, we start at the top. Um, like we offer a, a master in chemistry, which covers all the fields 
from physical, organic, inorganic to theoretical chemistry, where you are able um, to choose your own specializations. We have a program called Molecular Science, which um, yeah brings you either in touch with uh, nanoscience, which goes more into, let's say, uh, the development of new materials, um, also like may as maybe a little bit more of an engineering aspect. Um, while on the other hand, you have molecular life science, which goes into the direction of drug development. Yeah, where you're developing, yeah, let's say, new medicine uh, to help people. Um, we have a program called Integrated Life Science, which is very interesting for everyone inter um, like interested in biophysics. It's offered by our Department of Biology, but it has more of a quantitative approach to biology. So you're... Um, you will learn to analyze um, biological processes and systems from a yeah, quantitative perspective. So a little bit of interest for mathematics is also necessary. Um, we have a master called Integrated Immunology, which is a cooperation with the a faculty of medicine and um, which combines kind of the lab part of immunology with the clinical part. And it's a... Uh, considered an elite program by our uh, Ministry of Education. And if, if like immunology uh, and these processes interest you, I think it's a really good choice. Um, when we talk about our master in physics, I think we're actually talking about a lot of difficult, uh, a lot of different programs because um, you're really free to choose your own specializations there. And um, Erlangen is quite famous for a few, let's say, Subdisciplines of of um, of physics. We have a um, center for astroparticle physics, um, which is pretty new, um, very very um, up to date new research building. So if this area interests you, we're definitely a good choice. Um, optics is a topic that has been covered in Erlangen for a very long time. We do have a Max Planck Institute for the science of light here. Um, in Max Planck Institute, you could maybe uh, compare it to like um, Academy of Sciences in, in your country. And um, yeah, so if you're into, into research on light and nowadays also on, let's say, quantum optics, quantum mechanics, um, quantum, quantum, yeah, quantum electronics. So this whole field, um, we are currently really developing into a hub. Um, for all these um, quantum science aspects of physics. And um, so, yeah, we are really, really a good place to go for this. Um, yeah, how to say for this, for this future topic, um, which will definitely have, um, yeah, a lot, which will definitely have a lot of use for in future and where we are currently still discovering the basics. Um, if you go to, if you want to stay more in the mathematics field, we have a master in computational applied mathematics, which is a lot about um, simulation and optimization. So it goes a little bit in the direction of um, engineering mathematics. Then we have a master in data science, which um, is like kind of situated at the intersection between informatics, computer science, statistics, and mathematics so it'll help you to to learn um how to work with the uh, big data so definitely also a future topic um and then of course uh, to to very up-to-date um issues is uh climate and environment we have a master in physical geography in in climate and environmental sciences so you're uh, it's about geoinformatics and env environmental analysis um climate research you can also choose your own um your own specializations and as with our master in paleobiology it's very research oriented so um you really really quickly gain um first-hand experience in how to do a research project how, how to yeah be independent and um follow the questions uh, you are interested in and how to how to solve them or how to find solutions or answers to to them, and um, yeah, paleobiology 
it's like a program that combines um, or that is really interested in shaping a new kind of researcher which um, understands um, like what climate change means to ecosystems um, from a very historical perspective. So they are looking into the past of uh, the history of our planet and try to find out what it what it teaches us for the future. Yeah. Um, exactly. Um, those were the English programs. Um, our bachelors are all taught in German. Um, there are a few masters in German as well. And um, what you need for those bachelors is a reduced DSH2. So you need uh, DSH2 in the written part, DSH1 in the, in the oral part. And um, for the English masters, you need English level B2. And I guess, um, yeah, that was more or less a, a rough overview of what we offer at our faculty. Okay. Um, then uh, thank you so much, Patrick. Um, then I will continue with or basically finish with the last few slides. Um, in the beginning, you can probably recall that Patrick talked um, about how uh, we really try to combine knowledge with like theory with the practical um, aspect of your study program. So if you would like to do any kind of like internships or work alongside your studies, you know, if your residence permit allows that, um, or if you would like to um, work here in the area later on, then this is a selection of our partners from um, the local industry. So if you would like to, um, to really get a hands-on experience during your studies, um, which are a faculty it may be at, um, then this is definitely a good selection for you here and you can um, yeah, expect to be able to um, apply at these companies. If you are interested in things such as university rankings, if these are important to you, then you should check out um, our score on the Reuters um, Top 100 ranking, especially where we were ranked as the most innovative university in Germany. We were number two in Europe and number 14 internationally. And we have also um, scored highly in the Shanghai ranking of 2022. We continue to score highly in the 23 ranking, um, just as much as the QS ranking, the DHE ranking, DFG funding atlas, and so on and so forth. So if those numbers are important to you, you can definitely um, fact check them, back them up, and um, yeah, basically let them speak for themselves. Now, if you would like to, um, if you have any kind of doubts regarding coming to Germany and like continuing your life afterwards, then um, you should not have them because we do have um, a study advice service and a career service at the university. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that on the next slide, but basically um, what they help you with is they help you during your studies and they help you during your studies and also later on. So, for example, if you would like to apply for any kind of an internship or you would like to um, later on go and work in, in a specific field with a specific company, you can get some advice regarding how to prepare your um, application, um, the formalities, the interpersonal kind of relationships that you should you know, look out for during your interview, for example, um, and they can advise you on all of that. And last but not least, um, the reason I mentioned those two services is because at FAU you do not pay any tuition fees, also not as an international student. All you pay is a small semester fee of usually like around 67 euros. Um, can be a little bit higher, can be a little bit lower, depending on you know what else is going on. But this is um, the general the general number. And what you have access to is obviously the study service, the career service that, that I have um, mentioned earlier and also things such as like psychological consultation or getting some legal advice, for example. So all of those are possible for you. You can see that at FEU, we also in general offer um, pretty good welcome services. Um, I am in charge of those, so I don't, I don't wanna say like that, that, you know, they're excellent because there's always room for improvement, but um, I think they're pretty good because we can pair you up with, um, with a buddy, for example, that will help you along in your first couple of days at FAU. Um, we also hold orientation weeks, so at the beginning of each semester, so if you would like to meet a couple of people, get into some, I don't know, like WhatsApp groups, whatever, to meet other students, to help each other out, then there's definitely um, a lot of room for that. 
you can see that we have um, over 7,000 international students. If you remember from the beginning, we have almost 40,000 students in total, like almost 8,000 of them are internationals. So almost a quarter of FAU is um, international. And if you are studying in any of those English speaking programs, you will definitely find, um, you know, fellow other students, also some um, Ukrainians. We had some people that came as exchange students and decided to stay here. Um, others just, you know, came for the full degree program on their own. So if you are looking to make connections um, and, you know, advance as a person and also in academia, then FAU is definitely a great place for you to be. And if you have any further information, I have already posted the my studio website a couple of times in the chat. Um, there is also the just like the official FAU.eu website. And there is also study at FAU.de, um, the one at the very bottom, that basically gives international applicants all kinds of like just general knowledge that um, you should you should look out for. Yeah, and on the picture you can see the backside of uh, the Schloss of like one of our central buildings. And uh, yeah, basically like the university gardens. They're not technically university, but they are basically university. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you would like to come and study at FAU, then we would really like, um, we would really be happy to help you. And if you have any questions, I'm going to move on to them right now. Um, let me just check. Um, okay, so I've answered this one. This one was about the student colleague and whether we have one. And I've already answered it in the chat like way before the presentation, actually. And we do have a student colleague, um, but we don't have one in Erlangen. The next one, like the closest one, is in Munich. So if you would like, if you need to go to a student colleague before you can study, so if you finish like your 11 um, high school grades in Ukraine, to be able to study in Germany, you would need to go to the student colleague for like at least one year. And this this is going to be the one in Munich. Um, then video questions, video questions. Yeah, where can I see which programs can be in English language? And um, basically, if you just Google like FAU Studiengänge or FAU degree programs, I've also posted the link a couple of times in the chat. Um, there will be like a filter section and you can filter it by English, by German. And yeah. And the next question is, I don't think I've received a reply to my question to the question. And um, the difference between English and German programs, we offer some programs in German and other ones in English. And so the difference is just the teaching language. Um, I'm not sure if there are programs. I think there are a few programs that are basically like translated, you know, that are available in German and English. But like they wouldn't have any. The contents would not be different. It would just be the teaching language that is different. And then the next question is, is it connected with IT programming? Um, I asked which program they were talking about and they just said like, oh, in general, is there anything available that is connected with IT or with programming? Um, Cloud Maybe I can say something um, regarding this question. Yes, if you want to study something that is IT related, we have several programs at our Faculty of Engineering and also at the Faculty of Sciences. So at our Faculty of Engineering, it would be um, the Bachelor's and Master's in Computer Science, which, which would be the classic option. Please be aware that both of them are taught in German only. So that would be the classic computer science program. Apart from that, you could do um, artificial intelligence, which is a master's program completely taught in English. Or you could do the bachelor's program in computational engineering, which is taught in German and bridges the gap between computer science and engineering. So it would be programming in order to solve problems or challenges that derive from an engineering context and um, computational engineering on master's level can be studied entirely in English. Um, when it comes to the Faculty of Sciences, I hope I can speak for Patrick uh, in this regard. Uh, they have a, a new program called Data Science, and this is also very much IT related. It's basically about analyzing, managing um, large amounts of data. And of course, you will need a lot of maths and a lot of programming for that. So those would be my recommendations for people interested in IT. Thank you. Um, the next question is also for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so which engineering specialties would you recommend? I'm most, uh, most sought after right now in Germany. I don't know if you have heard that in Germany right now we have a very high demand for skilled 
workers or skilled professionals. And this applies uh, especially to engineering. So it doesn't matter at all which kind of engineering degree you obtain, really. If you finish your studies in engineering, you have very, very good job prospects. So I cannot really tell you what's better than the other program. Of course, anything that is um, programming related uh, is also a great option, but I think you cannot go wrong if you choose any of the engineering programs. And all of the engineering programs, you will have a little bit of computer science, you will have to learn a little bit of programming, and, um, and then you just uh, choose what interests you most within that area, and you can basically not go wrong. So all of our graduates, they, they get uh, several offers from uh, companies, and they never have a hard time to find a, a job afterwards in the Erlangen in Nuremberg area. Thank you. Um, the next two questions were regarding admission requirements. Um, one is specifically for um, the Master of uh, Business Administration, I think it's called on, on the FAU website, and another one regarding the language tests. And the best place um, to ask these questions would actually be the study and advice service. Um, so if you just Google like FAU study advice, um, you will be redirected to their website. Um, I can also, like, I will go back to the chat later. Um, the email address is basically ib and then z at fau.de. And they want to can answer all questions regarding, um, like, the different, like, grade transfers and grade recognition and which language tests um, they accept and which they do not. Um, yeah, so this would be the best address for that. Um, the next question is what job positions can a student start his career with after graduation? I think it just depends entirely on what your career is or what your study program is like unless you have like i don't know does any of, of the other moderators have a, have a better answer i have a very general answer maybe but um i would say that there are um fields where you can leave university with a bachelor's degree and find a uh, good uh, positions on the labor market, like in um, social studies or um, also in the humanities. It's not uncommon to leave the university with a bachelor's degree and start looking for a job and you will be able to find a good job um, after doing some internships maybe as well. But in the field of engineering, for example, almost all of our students do a master's degree after the bachelor's degree and uh, only um, enter the job market afterwards. And this comes with the benefit that, of course, they can uh, enter higher paid positions right away. And um, also what is not uncommon in engineering, at least, is that you do a PhD after your master studies. And um, we offer various PhD positions here at FAU, and they are also uh, fully paid in the field of engineering. So if you do research in engineering, you will become an employee of the university. Um, and then of course, if you have a, a doctoral degree, you can even enter into higher positions in the industry. So that's a very general answer, I guess. Patrick, did you want to add something? I might add just what um, Claudia just said also applies to the science subject. So it's quite common here to get um, at least a master or even a PhD. And um, well, apart from that, I'd say that university studies usually prepare you quite well for the job market. And that a lot of course also depends on your personal interests and um, on the subject you study. For example, I guess that it's more important <clears throat> to already find a field you'd like to work in um, during your studies um, for students of social sciences and humanities, that you get, that you do a lot of internships, that you do uh, try to get maybe a student assistant position somewhere um, that will help you for your future jobs. Um, while for, let's say, um, students of engineering and um, science subjects, internships are also important, um, but it's a bit more, uh, your, your field of work is a little bit more clear than, than it is maybe for other subjects.
Okay, sorry, I was still typing. <laughs> um, thank you so much for your answers. Um, I'm going to move to uh, maybe this question. Um, what does degree program with integrated practical phases mean? Um, was it? I think like most of you will have that in your in your programs because I know that like in MBS, for example, like the economics and business sector, there's like a for example, you need to do some time abroad, for example, with uh, at the Faculty of Science and Engineering, you probably have some like practical phases, right? I, I don't know where this uh, term comes from exactly, but I would guess it is an internship, maybe an inter industry internship. Um, this is very common in our bachelor's programs at the Faculty of Engineering. Yeah, we do have it in some of our master's programs where it means that you need to have an have an internship somewhere for let's say between six weeks and three months thank you um and then the next question um is maybe this one um how many students are on a grant or on a scholarship programs and how many are able to spend on their grant in their speciality um, so generally, um, like I've said on the like second to last slide, um, we do not have any tuition fees at FAU, so we don't generally offer any scholarships. Um, there are like a few exceptions, but uh, there's only one that I know of that like actually the international office is in charge of. But other than that, um, like we ourselves don't offer any scholarships. So you'd have to look at other websites such as like different foundations or for example, the DAD. If you're interested, in then I think Claudia wants to add to that. No? Um, yes, I was just going to type something into the chat. chat. Um, yes, we um, we see it a little differently since you don't have to pay tuition fees. It's like a scholarship is already included for everybody, so to speak. But apart from that, we don't offer any, any scholarships, not FAU itself. But there is a very good database, which is called Funding Guide, where you can find all scholarship providers in Germany. I'm just going to type that into the chat and you can look it up there. But those scholarship providers, they are not connected to FAU. They are just organizations in Germany that offer scholarships. And you might add that we do not have a scholarship culture here in Germany that is comparable to to the US. So maybe you're referring to, to the US system where really a lot of people are getting scholarships. Um, while I'd say that here in Germany, it is the quite the minority of students who, who have a score, who hold a scholarship or a grant that supports their studies. Thank you. Um, the next question is once again, which Studien colleague can you recommend? Um, I don't have any personal experiences, but you would, I think you would need to take part in the Munich um, Studien colleague either way if you, if you plan to study in Erlangen. So you don't really have a choice, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, there is also the question regarding, does the university plan to return information days for full time applicants? I believe we had the question before, like last year. But I'm not sure, like there are no specific information days for full-time applicants that I know of, but you're welcome to like interrupt me. I so, mean, like, there are student info target if you want to come here for uh, uh, to study your bachelor. Um, if it's about you're interested in a certain master program and um, it's not like we would be like organizing a, a full day showing applicants around um i mean they i don't know if there are any exceptions to that or if any program offers that but i have not heard of it so far thank you but if you're interested in a program Sorry. and you are already in germany or you, you're planning to travel to germany of course you can make an appointment with your study coordinator so the person who's in charge of the study program you're interested in and you can meet them in person in their office Thank you. I'm just trying to work like both the chat and the Q and A at the same time. Um, yeah. So there was a question regarding whether um, you can still participate in the Studien Kolleg while uh, to study while you're still in the Studien Kolleg, and unfortunately you have to finish that first. Um, the next question I've also answered in the chat. Basically, if you just Google FAU double degree programs, you will like see a list of them on our website. 
Um, then, um, does the application time depend on the academic degree? Um, yes, so we've had that last week where we do have different deadlines for bachelor's and master's applications and for the PhDs, you would have to reach out um, to whoever you want to do the PhD under anyway, personally. Um, Claudia, did you want to add something? No, okay. <laughs> I never know. Um, yeah, but you can also just find them on our website. Again, if you Google like FAU admission or FAU application and they will list um, the different deadlines on the website. And if you're unsure, um, as always, you can email ebz, like ibz at fau.de and they can um, give you a brief overview about it. Um, what was the next question? Um, how long does it take to travel between campuses, for example, from Nuremberg to the observatory? Oh, the observatory is in Bamberg, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so there is a train that just connects all of them and it's basically like a 15 to 20 minute, minute ride between like each each of the cities. I haven't personally been to Bamberg yet in a couple of years, <laughs> but I think it's like 20 minutes away from Erlangen and then Erlangen is another 20 minutes away from Nuremberg. Um, there's different trains. There's trains that only take 10 minutes. There's trains that take 20 minutes, um, but they're running like every 10 to 15 minutes. There's a train, so it's 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 pretty fast. Um, then can a student from another university access the FAU digital library? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you need like the the VPN, the FAU VPN <laughs> to be able to, to access it. Um, okay, this one I'm going to need to Google Translate because Cyrillic scares me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, wie hoch sind die Bildungskosten und ist es für Ukraine möglich, sich nach der 11. Klasse einzuschreiben? Um, so the first, I'm going to, to answer the second question first. Um, so is it possible to go to come to FAU after you've finished um, 11 grades in, in the Ukrainian um, school system? And the answer is no, you would have to go to the Studienkolleg first. And then the other question is how, like, how much money does it take to study at FAU? And just in general to like be able to live in, you know, the, the Nuremberg Erlangen metropolitan area comfortably, you should have at least like 900 euros available to you per month because accommodation can be anywhere from like, if you're like super lucky, you can get a, like a cheap dormitory room, for example, for like 200 something euros but you can also get a single apartment for like 600 euros <laughs> so it just depends on your range and what you do with it but we generally recommend around like 900 euros a month and it basically increases by like 100 euros every single year like not not quite but you know inflation and everything um yeah so 900 is what i would go for um can foreign students apply to scholarship for social political participation i'm not sure i think you can thank you Claudia. there are some um political organizations which offer scholarships usually you have to do the whole application process in german so you should be an advanced german speaker But yes, as, of, as an international student, you can also apply to those political organizations and apply for their scholarships. And you can also find them in the database that I just entered in the chat, which is called Funding Guide. And then you would just have to read through their requirements, but you can do that. Thank you. Um, the next question is, good afternoon, I'm interested in medical engineering. Doesn't matter which university in Ukraine I go to to complete the one year of studies in engineering. Um, what, uh, what is the competition like for the specialty? Are there any grades um, from the first year of university that I can transfer, I guess? Okay, so I think this person is referring to the second path, how you can enter the system on bachelor's level if you don't go to the Studienkolleg. What you can do is you can study a similar career in your home country on bachelor's level, and then you have to complete the first year of uh, that, that study program in your home country with all required courses, and then you can transfer to um, a German university on bachelor's level. Um, in, in this regard, it doesn't matter which university you go to, but it matters a lot which study program you study in your home country. So if you are interested in doing that and taking that path, I suggest that you get in touch with me 
Um, you, you could already see my email address uh, on the slide and I will add it in the chat again. Get in touch with me and we can have a closer look at this. I don't have a generic answer to this, unfortunately. Thank you. Um, there is one question about the Friedrich Ebert uh, Stiftung. Um, so basically what you should do regarding all kinds of scholarship is just um, access that website. And I think we're being cut off a lot. Somebody, somebody just did something. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So for the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung or any other kind of scholarship, um, just visit um, their website. And I think Claudia Barnickel already posted like a scholarship guide in the chat. I haven't had time to check. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Or you can just Google like FAU scholarships. We also have a list of um, a variety of different scholarships. But basically, you would have to do um, your research on your own and consult with the scholarship foundation. And um, because we don't know the, the application details any more than, than you do. Um, if the documents have an Aufenthaltstitel for the purpose of temporary protection, do I need to apply for a student visa before submitting the documents? Um, I think you mean the application documents. So now you can apply um, for your studies that for you, regardless of which re um, residence permit you hold. So the residence permit is irrelevant. We don't we don't check it. We just hope you know you're here legally, and that's it. <laughs> Um, where can we find more information? Um, so the best place regarding um, all academic matters um, would be either directly to the study program coordinators, if you already know like what you're looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for, let me just do the screen sharing. There it is. There we go. Um, hold on. I just, I just need to figure out which screen I will be sharing. <laughs> There we go. Um, okay, so basically what you can do is if you go to FAU and then study service, um, just if you just, you know, click on any of the links, you will have the different kind of like um, service areas that we offer. So for example, here's like the admissions office, there's the study advice and career service. Um, yeah, so basically this, like the first one would be your first place to go, the study advice and career service. Um, they are basically always available during the like regular office hours and you can contact them regarding if you're interested in a study program, you don't know the admission deadline, for example, uh, the application deadline, or you don't know which certificates are possible, um, what you need to like, you know, other documents you need to get. And this would be basically your first um, area. And if you have any other questions such as anything non-academic, so anything that is not related to any kind of like certificates, um, ECTS points or anything like that and um, just about like general life outside of the university kind of you can um, contact the international office um, for and then it doesn't matter which one you select either one like I'm in both teams so you will you will either way you will end up with me <laughs> so um, you can just email us at welcome students or come to our um, like zoom sessions or personal sessions if you're interested um, yeah so it's basically ABZ or it is um, for um, the international office, like regarding whatever problems you have. Um, in my opinion, is it better to complete one year at Ukrainian University or enroll in Studienkolleg? I don't know. I haven't made experiences in either, but Claudia, please. <laughs> Um, good question. I mean, if you don't have the German skills yet, you cannot enter Studienkolleg right away. It is my understanding that you need at least B2 level to be able to enter Studienkolleg. So if you don't have that yet, um, you should and you want to start doing something, I would suggest that you enroll in a similar program at your home university, but please always check with the FAU coordinator of your desired program, which program is uh, the correct one for you to take this path. Um, and then you can already start studying at home. And, and during the time you can learn German so that you so get to the level that you need in order to enroll in a bachelor's program if it is taught in German, of course. Thank you. Um, the next question asks whether um, student services, so Studentenwerk, there is, this is like a separate organization from the university, but they do provide some student services. This is 
the people which you are paying the 67 euro fee for um, every single semester. And the student services are the ones um, that um, can help you with accommodation. They do offer dormitories. Um, we do not have, like in Germany, we do not have a system where every single student, like along with their admission, receives a dormitory space. Um, we do have less dormitory spaces than, you know, than we have admissions. Um, so you do need to apply in advance, but you can um, definitely get housing there. You can also, um, if you go to, um, if you Google FAU accommodation, um, let me share my screen once more. Yeah, so if you just go to like FAU accommodation and um, click any of those links, but the, the best one would be like, so this is the same, just one, one in German and one in English. Um, then um, basically you get to this website. You can also, um, if you um, click on this link, you can also apply to the um, like database of the international office. And um, because we do have some like extra spaces sometimes available for international students specifically. So you can apply with us or you can apply to the student there. Um, so do it like that. Then you click on the Wohnen link. And you can also have it in English. And they will have the information regarding this. They have like 100 links <laughs> you can see it for like application and where to get housing and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, but like dormitory spaces are not guaranteed. So you would have to, to take care of housing on your own. And uh, recommendations regarding price. So for dormitories, like you can get away with like 300 to 400 euros on the private market. Like for a single apartment, anything between like 400 to like 700 is like possible for for like the normal person like if you're not looking for anything super rich super fancy and um, like 400 500 is at least something that you should spend on the part on the private markets like if you want to live by yourself in like your own little apartment basically um is there demand for molecular science <laughs> uh, for molecular yeah for molecular med medicine um i think this is something that patrick could maybe answer um <clears throat> well um it's definitely a research oriented program i'd say but um all the skills you'll earn there will definitely be highly sought after on the on the work market on the job market um i don't think that that the two things exclude each other thank you um, and then we have a question regarding what student colleague even means. Uh, this is basically like a set of preparatory courses um, because in Germany um, we go to school for 12 to 13 years, whereas in Ukraine it's only 11. So in order to like catch up on the 11th, uh, on the 12th year, so to speak, or and or kind of improve your German knowledge and stuff like that, um, you should be going to the student colleague. So this is kind of what it's for, it's like preparatory courses. And yeah, and you should have Studienkolleg or Abitur, either 12 grades or 13 grades. We used to have 13 and then we had 12 and now we are going back to 13, I believe. So it's just Germany being fun and entertaining. Um, yeah, <laughs> so you should you, sh you should have more than 11. Let's let's kind of say it like that. Um, this question I'm going to need to translate once more. Um, it says, uh, I am a first year student in Ukraine. I am interested in humanities. Do you need a student colleague or can you immediately apply for admission to your university? Do I need to take any exams? Um, so once again, it depends on your background. Um, since you, if you have already like studied um, at least one year, then you can, then you should be able to apply to university directly. And then it just basically depends on the study program and the language in which it is taught. So, for example, if you're applying to, I don't know, English literary studies or something like that, obviously all we need from you is English. If you're applying to something that is taught in German, you should have the, the necessary German knowledge. But once again, on the website that I, sorry, I need to type. Um, yeah, so if, if you just check our website, basically there is this, I'm just going to share my screen one last time. 
Um, on our website, um, on our website, we do have a little overview here over the different courses that we offer. So basically, you can just um, yeah, you can just filter them of you know basically how you need. I think it's also available in English. Yes, perfect. Um, so basically, you can just filter them, you know, by the teaching language, et cetera, et cetera, like the admission requirement, if it's free, if it's um, restricted, if you need any kind of like additional documents to apply. And then basically just go off this list and go visit their study program websites and see what they say as well. Um, yeah, and then the next question or last question, should I say, is uh, the Studienkolleg once again. And the next closest Studienkolleg would be in Munich. If you Google FAU Studien Colleague, um, it will actually link you to everything you need to know about that. Just going to find the link real quick. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so I will post the link. This is for the Studien Colleague. And like what it is when the application periods are in, etc. Okay. And um, if there are no more questions, I think I'm going to maybe like wait a couple more seconds for like one last question. Um, but other than that, I think we have answered everything that we could. And yeah, we hope you had a good time during our presentation. You got a good impression of FAU. And uh, we hope that you're considering joining it. And we will be very happy if you if you join us either, you know, in summer or in the next winter semester. So thank you very much. And um, so goodbye from my side. And I think the moderators will be closing the meeting. I hope. <laughs>